evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. This must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. It is our understanding that they've gone with a 4-5-1. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where... Yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too, and that has an obvious flexibility about it. It's a, it's a popular managerial selection because of that. It's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I've mentioned. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. And it's Ducore. And helps available out wide. And he's got good distance, who's chasing? Jan Matz. Forward it goes. Now a chance to break. It's come loose. Then a few gets it back. To Corre. To Corre! Good stop. What an easy. The Kure is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. And that's been levered clear. Out to the left it goes. Aimed in towards the centre. Boots it to safety. Cut out in the nick of time. Neither side yet able to find the net. And it's been taken straight back, back to the keeper and try something new. A real chance to break. Mitrovic plays a clever pass. He's going after it. Gray. Cleverly plays it out to the wing. He's left his man. Pereira striding forward, facing goal. Hit into the middle. And he just whacks it away. Over to the left. Balls out on the left now. Kearney plays it forward, and now they can launch a counter. Fulham have it back, and they can go again. He's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Cuts it out. Bubble. Bubble. There are a few waiting for it. And the finish! And that's it for the first half. A breathless ending. So now the team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. Interesting game up to now. But still goalless. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change perhaps after half time. We're already back on the way here. Watford clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Gray. Can't get the better of his opposite number. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. 
Gray. He's good for it. Potential goal of the season contender, if only. Gray really has just learned the lesson there. Your focus cannot lapse, even slightly. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Chance to shoot. Oh, he's in. Could be thinking about... Gray has a shot! Really well taken goal. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. So we have our breakthrough. Well, half-time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Barbel. That's surely a foul free kick. And that was asking just too much of him. Gray chooses to go back and out to safety. Fosu Mensa gets a good foot in there. That will be a throw in. Well, there's going to be a change now with the ball out of play. Put a stop to that. And it's Gray. Herrera is flagged offside. Yeah, that's a good spot and a good call. Chambers. It did look promising to start with, but in the end they were thwarted before they could even make it into the final third. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Ball's out, it'll be a throw in again. Barbell. Kenny. Barbell plays it in, and he's there to cut it out. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue the situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. He's got... Has a pop! And he's there to make a great save. Roberto Pereira simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. then taking this chance to turn to their benches and it's hoisted clear he's gone for it and that certainly packed a punch the referee looks at his watch and